Hi, my name is Abigail Beddoes and I'm here to talk to you about filling in a risk assessment form. So this is part two of three videos and in the first video we discussed the risk matrix. So if you want to refer to that first online and then come back to part two. So in the, if you refer to your form, in the first section of the grid it's got the activity to be assessed and the example we're going to use is changing a light bulb. So the date assessment which says below, we're going to use today, the location of task or activity is a training room Fenton and our assessment number is TR001 2015. Uh, the assessment is to be completed by myself and the number of pages is two and the review date is a year from completing it. And if you've got any other information, you can stick that in the final grid. And then just below that, in that section of the grid, is what is the task? And you've got to identify the hazard. Now, the hazard is the potential harm that is associated with the task, so not the actual task itself. So our hazard will be working at a height on steps and therefore the consequence or loss of who will be harmed is there could be a fall from height causing broken bones or muscular injuries and then the control measures to reduce the risk is the worker to be trained working at height, check steps before use, check ground condition is good and these control measures are to be implemented by the site supervisor John Smith and then you you check your residual risk level by referring to the matrix, but we'll be discussing that in video three. Thank you for listening. I hope this was helpful.